Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer and a voice teacher. And today I'm reacting to someone new. We're bringing someone new to the channel. I'm so excited. I will be reacting to and analysing to Forest Stiller, their version of Hijo de la Luna, which I think, I mean, de la Luna is the moon. Hijo, I mean, I think it, that's sun. And also Forestella, I mean, they've got star in their name. Are we <laughs> witnessing a theme here? I don't know. <laughs> I love hearing new voices, new arrangements, new songs. I love hearing all this. So as always, I'm just very, very excited. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, then please know I will be stopping and pausing and talking about what I'm hearing vocally. If you'd rather watch the full thing uninterrupted, I've left the link in the description below for you to go and check out. But yes, I will be pausing and talking in this video. If you do enjoy that type of thing, then please do stay on and do go over and check me out on Patreon as well. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button. Let's go. I don't know what we're in for. <laughs> I love the setting. I mean, there's an actual, not, I know it's not the actual moon, but there's a moon. <laughs> so amazing light, soft tone that we hear from the get go. Everything is kept quite light and quite fully in their head voice up the top, but it's also very, very clear, meaning that we do have that engaged support. We do have our vocal folds being resisted together to get that clear sound until about halfway through, we kind of hear a little bit of that breath seeping through. Very much a stylistic choice as it just offers us something different and is the tone that they are after. What was also noticeable was that even when they kind of went a little bit lower, like in the, in the phrases, they kind of uh, descended a little bit in pitch, they were still quite bright in and light in their head voice. So they didn't go into their chest voice and get connected and anchored there. They kind of brought down the head voice a little bit to keep it all in that same kind of quality of sound. So tiny. I love that. Here's where we hear that breath. Yeah. I love how relaxed they are. Oh, it's a little bit of a waltz. Whoa, with that duo voice as well, kind of like the octave above, that, oh, that depth to the bass voice. You can also see that thyroid cartilage as well, just tilting down a little bit, right, to get darker. I mean, he's not lowering the larynx to get that down. It's in there in his vocal anatomy, but it's just so... <laughs> it's so nice to see. And yeah, with that kind of, that voice above, in, in unison, well, the octave above, but it's just, it was kind of like an echo almost. <laughs> Very tiny, minimal movement. Like, the mic is so close as well, like they're hardly moving it. Cool, so we've kind of heard all of them before lovely bass singer starts singing again. <laughs> that added harmony, now I, uh, maybe like a third part, let's just go with that, but that added harmony that we just heard there, 
a bit more of a classical kind of feel. We had these narrow kind of face shapes going on, a little bit of a tilted kind of larynx there. Everyone <laughs> has a different kind of voice quality, which is kind of obviously what we want in a group so that we, we are hearing different kind of uh, tones from everyone. But already we can tell and, uh, you know, we've heard them separately or together with one person, but we can tell this is going to be a full sound. <laughs> I love how light and floaty it is. It's so angelic. Yeah, you can hear the paw. It's got this darker kind of feel to it. A little bit kind of further back the sound, not as kind of floaty as um, the first singer, but. I love I mean, you could tell like the different quality, right? So we had this lovely depth singer. We haven't heard that the th third singer, the one that came on unison with the lovely bass voice. We haven't really heard much from them after yet. Beautiful top head voice kind of sound there. And from this singer here, it's a lot more, you know, that added wide vibrato kind of style as well. A lot more classical. We've got that kind of tilted lowered larynx there as well. And you can hear that sob kind of quality going in there as well. Kind of more operatic. That pursed lips as well. Oh, I love the offsets as well. Oh my goodness, this high voice singer, it's just like a delicate long line. Oh, just like kind of floating out there. Oh. Oh. It's so, I love how they're kind of passing it through uh, one another. We're hearing, uh, you know, different voice kind of highlighted in every section. The well-timed offsets as well from all of them when they, when they do like, you know, we've got a full sound here, everyone's singing their respected parts, but when they come off, it's all together. Oh, I love that growth. Oh, this bass singer as well, he's got such depth to his voice and it's quite like, you know, enchanting and just like powerful and strong how they're just so still, you know, they haven't moved. It's not like a mad choreography <laughs> movement, but we can really, and I loved that kind of ascending walk after. Even though we're quite low, oh, <laughs> not gonna try. <laughs> Even though we're very low, He's still got this kind of bright twang that's kind of guiding us there. It's so velvet. Their blend is so nice. Nice crunchy kind of note there. Let's just go back to that. Again, we've gone back to this R uh, sound that we're kind of floating 
floating and just landing right where they need to go. What's nice as well is that when there's a solo kind of singer singing a little section, the BVs, they are quite floaty still, but also quite staccato at the same time. They're kind of, ha 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 ha. We're getting this kind of two note abrupt finish kind of feel, which is contrasting to what we're hearing from the soloists. <laughs> A little bit of a pull away from the mic. Oh, my goodness! Like, but just that growth as well that we had from below, and then to hear that top high, those top high notes, and that beautiful controlled vibrato that we're getting, it's because he's, you know, he's got such a great developed head voice already. Nothing is straining, nothing is causing tension, so that vibrato is allowed to be free and come out and just happen whenever, whenever needed. It's such a clear sound that they're providing right at the top as well, meaning that the vocal folds are resisted. And what I mean by this is that when we are on that sound, the vocal folds are closing all the way to then open and produce that clear sound rather than get that breath that we heard earlier in his voice. But right now, there is so much core engagement to keep him supported right at the top and to get those he created he started this sound with an oval or an oval Ooh. Ooh. and then he kind of opens a little bit to his R. oh they're really listening to each other Lovely controlled straight tone. then it's resolved or oh, we didn't hear the highest sound of voice there oh wow oh my goodness yeah i mean the final kind of sound uh voiced phrase that we heard it kind of felt unresolved and then obviously musically we did hit, have that resolved resolution i loved that each four members completely different voice quality uh i mean the two in the middle yes kind of like uh in the middle of the highest and uh, lowest kind of voice that we did here, but still both of them a very different approach and tone and quality to their sounds. I mentioned towards the end that you know they're really listening to each other, which is what you kind of want in a group anyway. But it was just heightened with the overlappingness and the vowel shape that they had as well that they really listened to and make sure that that was even just like the same throughout all four members and then just the phrasing of it all as well that was amazing thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button and the thumbs up button and i'll see you very soon for another video